Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Slifer Slacker, and I've got for you today, first, I want to show off this beautiful mat that I had made. This is a custom mat. This is not by Konami or Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I got Crowler on it, and I got Ultimate Nature Gear Golem, and I made it look official by putting the Yu-Gi-Oh stamp on it. Um, but I've actually got a new guy making mats for me now, and I, the dude is, is really easy to work with. Dude makes a nice product, and I just... I tried to get more power manga mats but the dude i don't know if he's gone i don't know if power manga mat hang up the the mats or whatever hung up his mats but he's hasn't got back to me in like nine months so i said forget about it i'm gonna find a new guy and i'm really glad that i did this thing is amazing it is a mouse pad mat um it is stitched on the side and it has um a really nice felt on top it has a really good feel it's really soft um, if you're interested in something like this, please let me know. I will get you in contact with him. He seems like a more private guy, so I don't really want to put anything out there just yet. Um, I'm definitely vouching for this dude because his mat is sick. It is amazing. Guy is really easy to work with, really chill. Um, but without further ado, we are going to be looking at an ancient gear combo. I want to show you guys how to summon out all your ancient gear monsters um, and survive Nibiru. So let's go ahead and get our tokens ready here. Uh, we're going to look at a couple cards first. We're going to be looking at the Ancient Gear Advance, Terraforming, as well as two other cards. That is Gear Town and a copy of Ancient Gear Catapult. So basically, if you open up anything from up here and anything from down here. So opening up Terraforming and Advance, Terraforming and Catapult, Catapult and Gear Town, Advance, Terraforming, whatever. Um... So I'm going to show you guys how this kind of rolls. And I'm just going to start with the most simplified version, which is Catapult and Gear Town. So first, we're going to activate the Gear Town, and then we're going to activate Catapult. Catapult pops Gear Town, and that will allow you to special out from your deck a copy of Ancient Gear Dark Golem. After you do that, Gear Town is going to activate Engrave to special you out none other than Ancient Gear Commander. Now... You're going to activate Dark Golem's effect to add two Ancient Gear cards from your deck to your hand. And you're going to add something to discard. So this is any Ancient Gear that you can discard. And the other card is going to be an Ancient Gear Wyvern. Now, we are going to have to discard because of Ancient Gear Dark Golem's effect. So this card goes to Grave. And then we're going to activate Commander's effect to send an Ancient Gear Golem the OG from our deck to our grave. And then after we do that, we're going to get an extra normal summon where we can summon out Wyvern. Now, Wyvern on summon is going to grab us. Obviously, you could grab any Ancient Gear card, but we're going to grab Ancient Gear Duel. And we are currently sitting at three summons. We're going to take these two, link them away, making a copy of Ballista. Ballista on Summon is going to grab us a copy of Gear Town. And then we're going to go ahead and we're on four summons right now. We don't want to do any more summoning until we secure our board. And in order to insulate, we're going to banish the commander. That's going to allow us to place the Ancient Gear Duel on field. We now are immune to anything uh, monster-related that will affect cards that have Ancient Gear Golem in its card text, or cards that are Ancient Gear Golem. So if my opponent's to activate Nibiru on my fifth summon, the only thing that gets destroyed is Ballista. He will be fine, and the rest of the things that I summon will be fine. So we're going to activate the Gear Town. We're going to use Ballista to target one of my opponent's monsters and the Gear Town, popping it. After we do that, we're going to special out a copy of Ancient Gear Tanker. Tanker on summon is going to go ahead and look to our grave and revive a copy of Golem. Now, obviously, a lot of these effects only activate if your opponent has a monster on board. I am playing this as an OTK build. Um, this is something that I really like about the deck is that it's an OTK-based deck. Um, I think it's more fun that way. You are free to play it however you want, but this is a pretty decent combo to dodge Nibiru. Um, but what we're going to do next is Tanker is going to target himself and he's going to pop himself giving anything that mentions Ancient Gear Golem or cards that are Ancient Gear Golem a 500 attack boost. Uh, or sorry, 600 attack boost. Yeah, 600. <coughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to use Ancient Gear Dole. We're going to take the uh, Dark Golem, the Tanker, 
and the wyvern and banish all three to summon out a copy of ultimate ancient gear golem so now we have on our board this monster has three attacks it has 5,000 attack this will have 3600 and this will have 15. all three of these are going to attack probably push for game if my opponent has a battle trap it can't be activated if my opponent has a monster effect it can't really do anything to us so agent gear duel um pretty good uh this combo pretty decent um i'm going to show you the same thing slightly different and then um that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video i don't really have a long super long video because this deck is good ish right now but this deck is not gonna really see a lot of like play until we get ancient gear statue ancient gear statue is a lone fire blossom for the deck which is absolutely insane so we really 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 want that card and i really 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 wish that we were getting that sooner than uh the animation chronicle i kind of really wish that konami would start porting those cards in the sets that they're getting main support like so for example legacy of destruction that would have been such a perfect spot to port ancient gear statue like that really would have been like the best in my opinion the best place to do it but um i don't work for konami wish i did i really that would be like a fucking dream job but all right guys so we're gonna start with um advanced and terraforming the reason that i'm doing this is because i just want to show you guys how to roll with this um but i also too want to add one more card into the mix and that is fortress okay so this is a technical three card combo but very easy to scoop up with how many copies of you know we're playing three fortress in the deck we're playing three advanced three gear town three uh, you know, Ancient Gear Catapult, the one terraforming for that extra, um, extra search. So guys, we're going to start off with the terraforming and that is going to get us the Gear Town. After we do that, we're going to activate the copy of Ancient Gear Advance, getting us the Catapult. We're going to activate, oh, my bad, I lied. First thing you want to activate before anything is Ancient Gear Fortress. So let me just scrub that real quick and go back. So the very first thing we're going to activate, guys, doo -doo 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 -doo. let me just rewind. We're going to activate Ancient Gear Fortress, so that way my opponent can't respond to anything except for the Gear Town. Then we're going to activate the Terraforming. We're going to grab the Gear Town, and then we're going to activate the Advance to grab the Catapult. Next, we're going to activate the Gear Town. We're going to activate the Catapult, targeting and popping the Gear Town, and we're going to summon out two monsters. The very first one needs to be Ancient Gear Dark Golem. And the very second one needs to be Ancient Gear Cat uh, Commander, which is going to summon off of the Gear Town. So Catapult summons out him. Gear Town summons out him. Which, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter because none of them have any restrictions. So it's kind of neither here nor there. Um, but then what's going to happen is this card's going to activate. We're going to search for our Wyvern again. And then we're going to search for our blank Ancient Gear Discard because it, it doesn't matter what this card is. So we're going to pitch that card, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to use Commander's Effect. Commander is going to send the OG Ancient Gear Golem, this guy right here, to the graveyard, and that's going to allow us to have an extra normal summon. We're going to summon out Wyvern. Wyvern will now grab us an Ancient Gear Duel from deck. Again, we are at three summons. We are under the amount for Nibiru. We're going to go ahead and link those two away, making a Ballista. Ballista on summon is going to grab us a... Gear Town. We're going to activate the Gear Town. We're going to pop the Gear Town. And that's going to summon us a copy of, uh, summon us out a copy of Ancient Gear Tanker. Tanker is going to go ahead and look to Grave. And that is going to grab us up Ancient Gear Golem. How do we do all this? We're going to go ahead and use Tanker. Um, you can summon him in attack mode. It really doesn't matter because we're, uh, trying to OTK. So you're going to use Tanker to pop the Advance. All my things that mention Ancient Gear Golem or our Ancient Gear Golem, we're going to get 600. And then, um, oh, my bad. I forgot to do the Commander thing. And that's another thing I feel like I've been really bad with. I forget to do the Commander. I, I actually did this the other day. I was playing online and I was testing this deck. And I'm like, okay, I'm dodging Nibiru. I got my dodge Nibiru combo. And I forgot to freaking banish Commander. And I got Nibiru. Um, but this combo keeps you under five summons when you can actually access commander and duel so please make sure you do it and i'm kind of glad i showcased that mistake while i was dueling here so that way 
People don't make that mistake. But you want to activate this card right after you link summon. Right after you link, activate this. Okay? It's the best way to do it. Banish him. Place this. Very simple. Now, we use Tanker to pop advance. We did all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and use Ancient Gear Duel. We're going to take the Dark Golem, the Wyvern, and the Tanker. Or we could also um, search a monster when we uh, summon Dark Golem. And like our discard could be a monster. So that's something here I'm going to use. After we do that, we're going to get out into a copy of Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. And then we're just going to attack for game. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments below. Let me know what you think of this beautiful mat. Um, sorry for my hiatus. I will be getting back into content more this week. Um, so do me a favor, guys. Get this to... I'm going to say get this video to 25 likes and I will drop a deck profile for my Ancient Gear. So 25 likes drops a deck profile. Cypher Slacker out.